So the activity I'm going to show you now is called a marshmallow shooter. Now, um, it can get a little crazy, um, and it's not so much about making it because you're going to have to probably make it for your child, um, but it's more about the using it and, and strengthening those um, forearms and those hands and wrists to, to use it. So what you're going to need is you can use um, a sturdy, I'm actually going to try this out because I've heard lots of different things online that certain things work and certain ones don't. So we can try using a cup and a hard, maybe a sturdier, like a solo plastic cup, smaller one though, you want it to be small, or a, um, a hard cardboard cup. We're also going to try, let's see which one's sturdier. We're also going to try a toilet paper roll. Um, and if neither one of those works, then we'll try something different. So the first thing is to cut the bottom out of whatever you're going to use, unless it's already got two holes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a, like a, a, just a standard size balloon and you're going to tie a knot as if you already inflated it, but you don't. You leave it uninflated. Tie a knot in the top of it. And then you're going to take a scissors and you're going to cut off the bottom half of the circle. Not the green scissors I grabbed. There we go. So you're going to then take the bottom half of that and then you're going to try, I may have cut too much off of this, so I might have to try this one. So then you're going to put it around the, one of the open ends um, and then you can take, since it is a marshmallow shooter, you can take and put marshmallows in it and then you can have your child, once you show them how to do it, just pull it and it shoots the marshmallows. Or you can eat them. Um, and this will crush and stuff, but you could also, if you want it to stay on better, you can actually tape this with duct tape, the toilet paper roll, which will make the whole thing stronger for when they're playing with it. Because they squeeze it too hard, they're going to squash it and it's not going to work. Um, if, you're not, if you don't believe in, you know, wasting food, um, pom-poms or anything else really soft like that, you could even crumple up paper probably and shoot it in there. And just pull back. Let's see, just pull back and shoot. Um, so you can try different things. Let's see if the big marshmallow will shoot. Nope. <laughs> so a big marshmallow is a little too heavy. Um, and also it does help, like I said, if you tape the balloon to whatever you're using. I'm going to try this big cup and see if this works. Um, yeah, I might need a bigger balloon and, and to tape it on for this one, but I just want to try it and see what happens if I hold it on. So you can try a bigger cup and then I'm just holding it on right now because I didn't tape it. And that works too, but the key really is to tape it on so it doesn't keep popping off on your child and they're coming back to you to fix it. Um, if you have a plastic tube that maybe is about the size of this, I hear that um, I read somewhere that um, if you buy cake pops, like, you know, already made cake pops, that they come like in a plastic tube like this and you just have to take the one end off. So that's a great way to do it. And then if there's a sharper end, put the balloon on that side and tape it on so it stays on. But it's a great activity, like I said, your kids can be, um, you, you really are the one making it because you've got to cut it and tape it and all that stuff. But then they can be shooting and playing things with something soft that they can't hurt each other with. Um, you could even, um, like I said, crumple up paper, uh, cotton balls, um, anything you can think of. And it's great activity. You can try to then maybe put a basket at one end and see if they can get it into the basket by shooting it in, which then works on some of their gross motor skills, you know, and their eye-hand coordination, aiming things at something. Um, pretty much endless you could do with this, but it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, so try it out. Let me know what you think.